Why do we take that off? Well, because it was broke and we got to fix it. Yep, we unbolted it. I see some oil. Yeah, there's some oil there. But it's leaking down here. Is it leaking? Yeah. Well, we'll have to clean that up. Better step back. What about that thing? This? Yeah. Can't climb on that, can we? That'd be dangerous. Yeah, tracks go there, don't they? Nope, we can't climb on the tracks, huh? But so, if, if you're in there, you start running nice squish us. Yeah, we don't want to get squished by it, do we? But if you're out there, then we can get on here. Okay. We've got the tractor in here. I uh, got it in sideways in the shop and uh, it's amazing how much more room I got. Uh, we are getting ready to uh, take the tracks off because we still haven't solved the problem. So uh, we're gonna go a little farther. So we got hoses rigged up for this afternoon. Shadow's got that with the help of the guys down at the Helena and uh, got it plugged in. So we're gonna see, see what that's like for a first time. We hooked the hose up from the track tensioner, the cylinder here, and the accumulator, <coughs> which is, there. this is the accumulator. Okay. Uh, which is the same as a, yep, we, there's the valve. We loosened the valve bolt there. Don't loosen it until the hose it's is completely hooked, hooked up. Hooked up. We hooked over here to the left side, the left side, and you put it in. Put it in float. Put it in float. Okay, so now we gotta do what? We gotta take this front, tensioner wheel off okay so this we can this one here we'll take that off and then we gotta hook a come along or a strap and pull the rest of the fluid out of the cylinder okay and push so the and we just so we could tell where we're at we, he made three or four marks on the cylinder and we've already seen it move so so we're gonna collapse that today's plan is to continue the the uh diagnosis of this machine is cat 55 challenger 55 um, we're gonna pull the filters off and see what again what materials are in it we're gonna take a magnet in there check and see if if it's you know bits and pieces of teeth clutch you know what is it is it brake material what is it but most likely after we look at that again so this is the third time we've changed or fourth time we've changed the filters then we're gonna come in here because we've already changed the PTO, which is on the back. We're gonna come in here. And I think Shadow said we're gonna disassemble here and here and slide the tracks back, I believe is what, what the plan is. Then we'll come in here and we'll disassemble. We'll probably have to remove this bolt for the cab, but we're gonna take this off. We're gonna inspect in there which is supposed to be, depending on how we read this, and again, we're not, we're just average people. Um, now, Shadow is above average, and Terry's above average. I'm not. Um, we're going we're gonna to pop these, this, this housing off, inspect. They're supposed to either be one of two things. They're either called the same, called different things, but the same piece, or they're two separate ones, but there's a, a clutch, steering clutch in there, and a brake. So that's what we're gonna look at there. That's the plan. Tracks are off. Uh, we may load them up, but that's the plan. Okay, not sure if you can see that. This is a magnet. So what we had done uh, is we poured that filter onto this magnet, and here are our filings. And Kind of, sort of, you can even tell. So, now we gotta determine which one it is. 
and uh, Shadow and myself, everybody doesn't want it to be the transmission. <laughs> and here goes. Around the center of that axle, you notice some uh, yellow tape. And what Shadow did is we had to shim that so that it wouldn't um, rock. Uh, we could tear some stuff up. So that's what that is, and that's a very important part. Okay, so we got everything off. Uh, Shadow's got that cab mount, which comes here. That's off. We went around. We've loosened all the, the bolts on either side. We have, uh, we've supported our cab temporarily with a board. And we've got a bucket for the oil. Here's the long bolts. We had to play with our gun, Shadow's gun. and But it did it. It did it. So this is... We pulled, this came off, so both of these come right off. Don't now, disconnect your sensor. Disconnect your sensor in your track. Here's this one. Got it Looking disconnected. We got the sensor here off three the three-point point hitch, was on the back. So now we're ready to support the casting, support the casting and pull it off. So we're gonna use chains, yep. I guess. Yep. And uh, so here we go. This is the differential steering uh, clutches or um, service brakes out of a Cat Challenger 55. Okay. We're working on this is in reverse order. We've already got the, this is the brake piston. And that puts pressure, <laughs> or there's oil pressure comes in there. Against this clutch pack. Okay. This All is right. O-ring air. This is <clears throat> the internal clutch disc. And right here is already wore thin. It should have these hash marks. All the way around All the way around, And yeah. so over in like in here. Yep. Yeah. It's well, on the way out. We're all the way there. Okay. This is the other side, and there's no and clutch. there's nothing on it No clutch at all. left. Okay. Which has been our source of okay. material on the filters. And then. This is your uh, plate that goes in between your, your clutch discs. And, and it is wore about a quarter inch. Yeah, that's. Three so that's, that's our. Culprit right there, right? Yep. We think. And the other side is still it's in okay shape. Still okay, because there's there might be a little wear, Just but little it's not wear. terrible, right? Okay. Now there's another clutch disc, and it is no good. The facing has not completely come off, but there is no it's hatches almost, mark. Almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. No hatches okay. left at all. Okay. And, and outside, this is what it should fine. almost That's... look like new. Okay. Yep. Huh. Okay. So that is our. That's. Actually, what we wanted to find. Yes. Right? Yep. I mean, in reality, not that we wanted to find anything. We know but for sure that there's material from that going to plug in or plugging plug in the filter. Plug in the filter. Because you can see the metal shavings right here. This goo. Pile of metal shavings there. Uh, pile up here. Yep. And then it is, there's a little coming out of yep. there. So we've got, we've got some major cleaning to do. Yeah, not only uh, do we have clutch material in the filter, we have metal from metal, metal on metal. Okay. 
So there may be several filters down the road. We finally get it all clean. But we're gonna go do both sides. If one side's in this shape, there's no reason. The to other side is gonna be the same. Yeah. But the good news is, we don't gotta. We don't want to take that all off. We don't have to take the cab off. We don't think. Don't think. So. We don't think so. We don't have to pull the engine back. So praise God for for that one. Uh, okay. So here we go. What we're doing here is uh, Shadow is having trouble getting the plates out. And so he come up with an idea of putting uh, the air chuck on the back side and putting some air pressure to it, thereby releasing it out. And uh, did work, did work pretty well. So that's, that's what's going on here. And kind of hard to explain as well as hard to show. Uh, as we go, I've been going through this, you might notice that there are some places we forgot. We're still... Still trying to learn how to get the camera right and remembering that it, we need to do it. But uh, anyways, I thought this was a neat, neat trick he came up with and, and it did end up working. Okay, we've got the correct parts today, and Shadow's putting in the seal O-rings or seals. O-rings. Yeah. Square, uh, square cut O-ring. These are the old ones. Okay, and he was just going through it with me. He thought that the old one is what let I, go. I, I took that neck out of it when I took it out, mm -hmm. but on this side, it's slightly chewed up all the way on the same on that face, and I'm not sure that it was uh, taking the pressure back off of the brakes okay. when we would uh, quit turning. So it may have may have caused our premature failure of that clutch disc. Now we'll see what the other side looks like, if it's wore out also, or if it's in a lot better shape. Good shape. Um, and I know, I know when we get there, but it's definitely in bad shape and needs replacing. This new one's in here already. Uh, lubricated with the new hydraulic oil. And we will put this, the larger O-ring onto the piston. Slip it in there and work on putting our clutch discs in and going down the list. Cool. Okay, so we've got the gasket seal type stuff on there, right? Yep. And we've cleaned it. Shadow's cleaned it very thoroughly. Um, this side's ready to go. And so we're getting ready to put them together. Stand by. Needless to say, Shadow is very patient. This was a booger to get put together. Uh, we didn't really have the right stuff to, to line it up, but he did a good job.
Okay, so we have an indexing bolt there and one up there guide for us. We've cleaned this off, cleaned that off, cleaned it off on the tracks on the back side of this. We're gonna move everything and then we're gonna try to slip it on there with, yep. the, with the skid steer, right? And you'd cut a slot in these in case we have to, uh, in case they're too long. So that we can get it out. Now, on the, as far as the what, axle housing, mm -hmm. when we were putting that back on, we had to get it at the right, just That's exactly just right. Perfectly square to get, the slide to to get it to slide in there. So, There's uh, three sun gears that uh, we've got to slide over the planetary gear. And yeah, so that was a little bit of a booger. Three we've planetary got, gears to slide over the sun gear and that backwards. We have set the, the cab uh, mount back down. There is an oil line we had to put back on there, and then there is a third arm uh, sensor potentiometer back here, and we got it back on. So that's what we're ready for next. Well, we got her back on. So this is the stage just before we would put the tracks on. And so we've left the front idler off. Uh, that's, <laughs> I don't know if that's an idler wheel or what it is. Uh, front tensioning wheel. wheel. Tensioning wheel. Uh, we have painted the bolts on there to make sure on the back so side here. Later this year if they, uh, so we can check if you, yeah, there we go. If we can, if I get loose for some reason. So the shadow man and I are ready to do the other side tomorrow <laughs> so cool well praise god that worked like and subscribe on youtube and follow us on facebook ask your questions so we can all learn together come and grow with us